What's going on everyone? Michigan1777. As you can see in front of you, I have the Sony A90J Master Series OLED. This is the 65 inch variant and I'm going to go through and talk about gaming. What I have in the settings and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, first off, I'm going to say picture off. This is going to be a great friend of yours if you want to avoid any burn-in, if you're leaving for any period of time. Um, what happens if you have picture off? You can turn that and it will not turn the TV off. It just turns the screen off, goes black, and then when you get back, you just touch a button, turns it right back on, no problems. If you're on an OLED, I heavily recommend putting that towards the front. Now, for the picture settings when gaming. I have it obviously on game mode. I want the lowest amount of input lag possible for me while also maintaining a good looking image. So for auto picture mode, I have off. I believe if you have it turned on, it won't do anything. Um, it'll just switch between different things depending on what you have in the HDMI. Currently being that I'm using HDMI 4 and not using my receiver because my receiver does not have HDMI 2.1, it won't matter too much. Ambient light sensor, I have off. There's no reason to have it on unless you want it to adjust brightness and everything else according to your room and I, I just don't like that. I think it, it's a pain. For brightness, I always put my brightness on max during HDR. On top of that, I also include contrast on max. Now the reason I put the contrast up to max is I want to squeeze that extra little bit of peak brightness out of this coming off the 930E. I like having that little extra pop. I have gamma set to negative one. Now this right here, this is the important thing. Gradation preferred or brightness preferred in your HDR tone mapping. I had brightness preferred in, in, initially when I started playing with this TV. ABL kicks in very, very heavily with brightness preferred. I heavily recommend you do not use that. It just, it's not good. <laughs> um, for regular all around content on HDR, I definitely can recommend it and I just turn the gamma down a little bit. But yeah, for gaming, I would leave it on gradation preferred. Black level, 50. Black adjust off. This one you can do if you want. I'm, I just figured the least amount of processing possible while maintaining the best looking image. Advanced contrast enhancer, I have off. Peak luminance, I have high because it squeezes a bit more of the peak brightness out of the TV. For color, I have 60. I am no color purist. I like my colors to pop a little bit. So I'm going to put my colors on 60. I have hue set to zero, color temperature to warm. I've done neutral. It's a little bit too cool on the OLED. I found warm is really the comfortable. And I think expert's a little bit too yellow. For live color, I have this on low. You'll see people say off. I think on an OLED, I think low to medium is more than enough for me personally. Um, on my 930, I had to use medium. Um, I think low is perfect for this. Clarity, I have sharpness at 47. I think that because of the pixel structure of an OLED, there's a little bit of chromatic aberration that goes on with the pixels, and I found the sharpness going down to 47 kind of helped that a little bit. Uh, reality uh, creation, I have set to off. I don't think that games need that. And then smooth gradation I have set on low because obviously we see a lot more gradations of color real time in games. And I like to look at the sky and stuff sometimes and realize that, you know, there's not a bunch of banding. Motion off, all of it. No motion flow, no nothing. Video signal, I have auto, auto, and auto. And for advanced color temperature, I don't have it on anything at all because I did not get this calibrated. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Now, go into the game here. As you can see, blues are extremely deep, and the specular detail in the clouds is still pretty great in Battlefield. I wouldn't say it's perfect. Obviously, you can see that it's still a little bit blown out right here, and right now I'm going to show you what changes you can make in case you do want to bring that detail back. You can basically bring the contrast down a little bit. Um, that'll, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go that low. 90 will give, give you a little bit more detail, but I leave it at max personally. I just, I like that pop. Brightness, max, still, same thing. Now to be noted, if I want the gamma, it just brings up a little bit of detail, but I find it washes out the picture a little bit. That's why I have it set to negative one. Now I'm gonna run around here, kind of show you the ways show you the greens the look it looks very natural i gotta say even with the live color set on low many people complain that oh well it's gonna look you know too poppy well battlefield i find has some very natural looking colors in the first place and being that this is on an oled and everything it's it looks great honestly i'm very very impressed with it 
Now one great thing also going from the 930E to an OLED, uh, the pixel response. So that was one of the biggest complaints I had with my 930 is there was ghosting very often. Nice pink. But yeah, there was ghosting on screen because the pixel response was super slow. I can perfectly say that an OLED has um, instantaneous pixel response essentially. So there's no ghosting going on at all on screen when I'm playing real time. And I find that the smoothness and everything else is just upped. I find also that colors pop a lot more because you're obviously having that perfect blacks. And overall, I think the picture looks very clean. But yeah. So yeah, those are my game settings. Um, I'm going to keep playing here, running around, letting you look at stuff. And letting you kind of make your own opinions on the image. Although, obviously you're watching it on camera, so you're not going to be able to see all the detail. But I'll head down to the water here. That's a nice looking spot. Now, just to be noted also, this is running on PS5. And this is a PS4 game. It is not a PS5 game. So, graphics are not going to be perfect. Now, I've had other people ask to 930E to this TV, is it worth it? You're not going to have the same full field peak brightness or the full field brightness of the 930, but I think the contrast makes up for it a lot, especially on this TV. Mainly that extra brightness from the OLED is going to be for that specular detail. So I think overall, yeah, it, it's definitely worth it if you have the 930. I'm more than impressed switching over from this. And with these settings, I've been very, very pleased overall with the image, especially once I switched to gradation preferred. Um, let me switch over to brightness preferred and see if I can kick in the uh, ABL. It is definitely brighter. Yep, it just kicked in right there. It's fluctuating. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. Right there. Yeah. I'm about to burn my screen in already. Obviously, I don't want that to happen. Now the biggest thing for me on this map, or not even on this map, but this ABL kicks in heavily on Alcindy, and it just kicked in again. You can see it fluctuating constantly. Um, yeah, I always just leave it on gradation preferred. You're not losing too much specular detail by doing it on gradation preferred. I think it looks cleaner too. But yeah, that's it. Um, I know it's a longer video. I figured I would go through, let everyone kind of see things. And, you know, being that this is an HDR, I haven't seen any people recording any A90J stuff in HDR. So hopefully this will help some people at least get a small sense of what's going on. But yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Or if you didn't like the video, dislike it. And I hope to talk to you all soon in the comments. Thank you.